What's up guys? In this video we will be demonstrating the proper cleaning process for the TSOS 1911 Raider. Uh, we will be following Google's and YouTube's guidelines regarding the uh, disassembly and maintenance of firearms for the purpose of demonstration as outlined in YouTube's uh, policies and I'll actually put that on the screen of this video okay so we're not going to be doing any kind of modifications this is the standard disassembly and cleaning process for most 1911 firearms okay this is the TSOS Raider uh, and you can see that it is a little bit dirty it has had some range time and of course it is now time to give it a little bit of care and attention so the first step in cleaning any firearm is to always ensure that it is unloaded there is currently no magazine in the firearm and we have no ammo in the chamber lock it open visually and physically check that chamber and as you can see it is dirty uh, i will put links to some of the cleaning supplies that i use down in the description of this video that way you can get you some cleaning supplies and help support the channel at the same time those are affiliate links to amazon so once we have verified that the firearm is clear uh, the first step that i'm going to do now is to disassemble it by i'm going to engage that safety engaging the safety on a 1911 helps keep that slide from moving backwards as you are applying pressure to the front okay now i'm going to simply take my fingers because of this gun uh, modeled after the colt uh, 1911 carried by the Marines. I think it is the uh, what the M45A1. Uh, some of you guys can verify that. Let me know down in the comments below. So I am going to press the GI button, as it is called, and rotate the barrel bushing. You can see there I've got it started. So I'm going to continue that. Make sure that you hold on to that button and then you keep it pointed away from you because that spring is under a lot of pressure and it's going to want to come out of there very quickly. Okay, just like that we have the pressure relief and I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to rotate the gun over and this is of course is our slide stop. We have this little section here, the little button where the slide stop sticks through, and we will be pressing against that once we get the slide in the proper position. That proper position is lining up that little notch that you see there with the slide stop. So now we're going to disengage the safety, and I'm actually going to slide the slide back and line up that notch. Okay, just right there. And then with my other hand, I am going to push through on that slide stop on that button and you got to get that lined up just right i'm going to push that through and you can see there it's coming loose i can grip that and now i can pull that right out of the firearm set that aside i'm going to rotate it up and the reason that i do that is because of the uh, guide rod that's in here it can fall and then this way it just kind of helps keep it from falling out okay so now slide the slide in the frame apart just like that set the frame down we have the guide rod there this is the standard short gi guide rod we'll set it there of course our spring and everything is here as well just pull it out set it apart there and now the bushing the barrel bushing what we have to do now is rotate that barrel bushing all the way to the other side Okay, and then it will come out of that slide. I set it down, and now the barrel itself will come right out. And this is about as far as you need to take your 1911 for standard cleaning and maintenance. Okay, and what I will typically do, depending on how much it has been fired, I will begin by taking the barrel, taking some type of a cleaner, uh, solvent or whatever I'm going to simply fill that barrel up spray it down real good to wear and then just set it down to soak okay uh, you do not want to get a lot of liquid of cleaners and things like that inside where the firing pin is so be cautious about that because it will basically just gum it up then you'll end up having to take your slide apart take the firing pin out to clean that 
Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and hose some of these other components down. We get the frame, do it the same way. Just hose it down, just like that. Okay, all your small parts, you know, just give them a little bit of a soaking as well. You know, set them down, clean it up real good. Barrel bushing. And of course, even that guide rod. All right, now we've got that done. So what I will typically do using a nylon brush like this, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning some of the components and I'm gonna leave the barrel uh, for just to let it sit there and soak. You know, I'll leave it for a while. That way the solvents have plenty of time to do their thing. Taking a nylon brush, again, link down below. I'm going to scrub inside those rails very well. Okay, even though I didn't spray anything back here, you know, that brush will pick up some of that material, as you can see right there. You know, it was able to pull some of that off just because of where I had started up here, get a little bit on that brush, and then just scrub it all the way through. Something that you want to do is to make sure that you get as much buildup as possible off of your firearm okay now one thing you want to pay close attention to that often gets overlooked is your ejector your extractor let me rephrase that your extractor i have people gig me all the time because i'll call it an ejector occasionally this little hook right here that you can see and if i can get the camera to focus right there that little hook that you see right there beside my finger that is your extractor okay if you get a lot of build up on that you can have issues with the extraction on your gun. Okay, you can cause yourself a little bit of issue. I'm gonna take, also scrub that breech face with the brush as well to make sure that I get everything off of that. Okay, make sure that you get the clean real good. And there again, guys, I did not put any kind of cleaner or anything on that. I don't wanna get anything on that firing pan. I just wanna scrub all the contaminants off of it. Okay, got that done. Just kind of look over to make sure that you don't see any cracks or anything like that on the slide. I'm going to set it aside, pick up the frame, do the same thing with the frame. Okay, and don't let this hammer fall forward. Don't let it go. You don't want to damage the frame or the hammer on your firearm, you know, so don't let it go forward. So I'm just taking my brush again and just scrub the frame, okay, breaking up all of that. And as you can see here, get inside those rails, and you can see there, guys, you know, it's pulling it out. Had a few good uh, rounds through it, a lot of fun. You know, this is a very enjoyable gun to shoot. I'm glad to have it. Of course, I am a 1911 fan. Well, I'm a gun fan in general, and, you know, so I enjoy shooting my guns. That's why I buy them, is to enjoy shooting them, okay? So we've got that scrubbed off just like that. I'm gonna set it aside. And one thing that I like to do as well is take me some Q-tips or you can use, uh, you know, they do make little specialty tips or whatever for this, uh, but I just use regular Q-tip. And I go inside these rails, okay? I don't always white glove my guns but I do occasionally try to do a good thorough cleaning on them. As you can see there, even though I've scrubbed that, you can see that buildup that's on that Q-tip. You know, uh, over there again, guys, you can use these swabs, you can use Q-tips, whatever, I just use Q-tips. They're cheaper, I think. Get all down in there, and you can see there again, guys. She's dirty, you know, it's had some rounds through her. So it's gotten a little bit dirty, so we're just gonna clean it up. You know, it's just something that you don't necessarily have to do every time that you clean one of your guns. I like to get as much as I can out of the rails just because it will help it to function a little smoother. And you can feel it too, guys. If you clean it real good, if you clean your gun real good and lubricate it the way that it should be, when you are shooting it, you can feel the difference in that action. 
I mean, that is something that you may not think about, but I promise you, if you clean that real well, get all of that buildup out of there, when you shoot that gun the next time, you're going to notice the difference in how it feels, okay? We're just gonna keep going. I'm gonna try not to bore you guys to death. If you like 1911s, I'm sure that you don't mind watching this. Uh, stick around to the end of the video and you know we can all learn something and we can just enjoy what we do you know enjoy the guns that's why we buy them that's why we enjoy the time with them take them to the range shooting them and cleaning them is part of the process okay if you don't take care of them they're not going to last you as long okay make sure that you don't have any of the q-tips or your swabs to come apart and get trapped inside the gun okay that's something that can cause you a malfunction uh, you know, it does not take a lot most of the time to uh, pull the tips off of these. Okay, so, you know, just make sure that you have a, uh, don't have any leftover inside your gun. Okay, now we've got that. I think that's probably going to be enough on the slide. I'm going to do the same thing to the frame. Just take one of these Q-tips, take the frame get inside those rails just like that you can see there it's a little bit dirty and the gun will function better guys I know that some of you might not think that that is the case but I promise you it will feel smoother the action will feel smoother if it is a nice firearm especially uh, you know you will notice the difference in that gun the way that it feels and the smoothness of that action there's one side, we're gonna go ahead and get the other. And this finish that's on this gun, that flat dark earth or whatever, I really like it on this gun. You know, again, this was modeled after the Colt carried by the soldiers, carried by the Marines. And I think they did a very good job with that. Okay, gonna get down in here as well, to get all that out, just like so, okay? Now, the barrel bushing, go ahead and wipe it off as well. That's all it really takes for it. You now, if you've got any buildup, you may need to take your brush to it. And as you're going through, make sure that you are inspecting all of the components. Look for any kind of cracks. Look for any kind of loose pins or anything that is not right about your firearm. Okay, you wanna make sure that you're not shooting an unsafe firearm okay you can see there we've got that wiped out okay we got a little bit more out of there much better shape than we were now the barrel has been soaking for a bit so what i'm going to do now is simply give it another spritz of cleaner and then i'm going to take my brush and go through that barrel and one thing i'll do as I'm pushing the brush through, I'll twist it. That way it kind of helps to break up some of the buildup that is in that barrel, just like that. You want to watch the barrel and inspect it closely to make sure that there's no cracks or bulges or anything like that in the barrel, because if there is, you need to stop using that barrel immediately, okay? Check that link. Make sure that it is still solid the way that it should be. And check the locking lugs. Make sure that they're not damaged. You know, you don't want to put that back together and have something that has been damaged in your firearm. And of course, the t sauce. I want you to look at this barrel. This is a very well made barrel for a 1911. Uh, this is a barrel that they use in several of their guns. And I'm going to have to say, I think that they function very well. So we're going to set that aside and just keep wiping everything off. Wipe off the ejector or the uh, slide stop. Wipe off the guide rod. This is the GI guide rod. Just like that. The spring, check your spring. Make sure it's not kinked or broken or anything like that. Just wipe it off. You don't have to really do anything for uh, anything more than that for it. And that's pretty much it. 
Now, what I like to do uh, is use a separate oil. This is an oil that I've recently started using right here. Cleanse oil. This stuff is great. I'll put a link down below in the description of this video. I really like how this stuff feels uh, when it's on a gun. I mean, you can feel the difference in the action with this stuff. This is not sponsored or anything like that. Uh, I just like their stuff. So I'm just going to put a drop on the barrel up here on the locking lugs. Yes, I have a tendency at times to over oil my firearms. If it is one that I'm not going to shoot for a while, I will typically put them up slightly wet, even though I know I do not necessarily need to do that or have to do that. It's just something that I do as a way to help protect the firearm and increase the longevity of its lifespan. So I'm going to put the barrel back into place. Okay, now that I have the barrel in place, I'm going to go ahead and take the barrel bushing. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and put just a drop of lube on it. It doesn't take much at all. Okay, work that around. Set it into the slide. Push it back in place and then rotate it clockwise. That way it's locked in. I'm going to take my guide rod. Take the guide rod, set it in place, make sure of the position of your link. Take your spring and get the spring into position as well. You know, right over top of the guide rod. You can put the spring on the guide rod first or whatever. It really depends on you. Okay, now we have the barrel and the guide rod and the spring back into position. I'm going to set that link just slightly forward and now I'm going to put a little bit of lube on the, fl the frame okay just a little bit just a little bit on each of the rails doesn't take much I like to put just a little down here as well just a drop just some of the places on the firearm and now I'm going to take the slide holding it Holding the slide upside down, taking the frame, rotating it over. And the reason I hold it upside down is just to keep that guide rod in place. And I can slide it back together like that. You want to watch through the hole for the link. Okay, You want to make sure that you get that lined up properly and it is set in just the right location. Okay. I'll have it set up just a little bit, let it go forward, okay. Now once I get it lined up, okay, we can see our link right there. So I'm going to take my slide stop, I have to wiggle it just a bit to get it in place. Bear with me. Okay, there it is. Take my slide stop. Now, before I push that all the way in, put just a drop of lube right there on it. Okay. And now, what I'm going to do now is line that notch back up just like that you want to make sure that it's just in front of the detent now the way that I put these back together and it will help avoid getting that idiot scratch on your 1911 I will hold this up slightly I'll use my other hand and I will basically pinch this between my fingers okay that's what you can do get that lined up closely and push straight in okay just like that okay went into place I didn't have to worry about scratching my firearm okay we are almost there so now I'm going to slide the slide all the way forward to where it stops and I'm going to engage the safety that way it keeps the slide from trying to come back as I am reinstalling the GI button okay the takedown button I'm going to put that here 
I'm going to make sure that I point it away from me. I'm going to compress that all the way down into the gun, rotate that barrel bushing to where it catches it. Just like that. You can see that I've got it captured there. I'm then going to press it on down to where I can continue to rotate that barrel bushing and make sure that it snaps into position just like that. But we're still not done. After I've done that, I need to function test the gun. Okay, right now with the safety on, I press the trigger, the hammer does not fall. Okay, I take the safety off, I take my hand off of the grip safety, I press the trigger, the hammer does not fall. I then grip the gun, make sure the safety's off, I press the trigger, the hammer falls, I hold that trigger down. I then cycle the action, okay, I then ease up on that trigger and listen for the click for it to reset, okay. Very easy, very simple. Now, I'm just going to take another paper towel here and just kind of wipe it down, some of the excess off. That is the basic cleaning process for most 1911 pistols. Of course, this is my 1911 TSOS Raider. Love this gun. A lot of fun to shoot. Go check out the other videos that I've done with it. Leave me a comment down below. But guys, let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave those down below. Thanks for watching. Check out all the videos on my channel. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Check out the links down in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.